loves, what's good and what's poppin'? It's your girl Sharae and welcome to my channel. My newbies, oldies, and my first timers. I hope everyone is doing amazing and trying to stay stress free. Before we get started, I would love for you to subscribe, hit that notification button so you won't miss on when I drop a new video. Comment below and tell me how you found my channel and what content you would like to see more of. So if you like what you see, you already know, go ahead and give your girl a like. But in today's video, I'm working on my pantry. As you can see, it's a hot, messy mess. It was organized at one point, but as you start using things, the space tends to go back to its chaotic state. So this is everything that I took out of my pantry and it's a lot. I have to go through all of this. Before we do anything, I'm wiping the walls and shelves down really good to get rid of any dirt and grime. Gotta tidy up the area. So I'm doing a few kitchen updates to my home. I just recently transformed my kitchen windows and it turned out amazing. I will link the video above so you can see that transformation. Just love the new look. When you see someone start taping off walls and borders, I'm sure you already know what's about to go down in here. So I lined it all the way around right there. So I'm gonna paint the entire pantry, all the shelves and the wall, and I'm gonna actually try to get all the way up to the top of the ceiling to paint that, we'll see. Since my shelves are oil-based, I'm sanding this and scuffing the surface so when I apply the paint, it will adhere better. But as you all know, when painting any shelf and cabinet, you will eventually have some kind of chip or peeling. But to avoid this from happening anytime soon, I'm trying to prep my surfaces properly and taking my time. So now that i finished sanding, I need to get the excess dust up so I can begin painting. Can you guess what color I chose? At the last minute, I chose the iron ore color. At first I was going to go with the black, but then I thought about painting the ceiling and felt that was too dark for that small space, especially being that there wasn't any additional lighting in there. To add some contrast, I felt like a dark gray black would work for the vision I conjured up in my head. <laughs> Glad I decided on that color. Okay, so this is how it looks. I'm waiting for it to dry. You might see some light areas. That's because the paint is wet, but I love this color. So I'm going to have to go back and do the very bottom right there. But I'm keeping my baseboards white and then actually I'm gonna, if you probably can see a difference right here, I'm gonna actually go with the white paint around the border so that it can be the exact same white as the baseboard. Now, when we got our house done, we didn't get certain things they didn't replace because it wasn't a part of what we were getting done. Okay, so as you can see, I ran out of paint towards the bottom. I think, of course, if I used a roller, I wouldn't have ran out of paint, but unfortunately, I wanted to go ahead and get it done. But I need to just get, I can just get a sample because you know, Sherlin Williams, they have like a quart for their sample. So yeah, I'm gonna do that at the bottom. Right now I have, as you can see, I have all of this mess back here. So I'm gonna go through it. I'm gonna get rid of the stuff that I don't use if anything's expired, open, because my kids go through the stuff and just, throw it in there and don't even close it up correctly. But once I go through that, I'm gonna go ahead, I have containers. I'm gonna put some of my spices in my yeah. container. So I have these right here. I actually got these from Ikea. And then I got this from the Chinese dollar store. I'm going to put some of my spices in there and there and then I have labels, but I'm not sure if I want to use them. So if I don't use them, I'm just going to go ahead and write what the spices are until I get my labels. And then, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and organize. Also, I have a few of these. I got these from Big Lots in different various sizes. You can get these 
I've seen these at Ross. Um, Home Goods have them, but mainly you'll find these specifically at Home Goods. They seem like they're consistent, consistent with keeping these containers. The top just twists off. So I got this container from Ross. I'm gonna be using a mixture of Lazy Susan, other containers from Ikea, the Dollar Store, Big Lots, Home Goods. I'll let you know where I got it from when you see it. Decluttering can take some time. I went through every bin, every corner, every container, medicine, all that to see what is expired, that's no good, or we no longer use. You guys don't ask me why we got all these hot sauces. I know we have a lot. <laughs> After I binged on decluttering my pantry, I organized all my items based off their use. I typically put all the canned goods in a basket, my medicine in a separate basket, extra condiments in its own basket, box food, and so forth. Towards the end of the video, I will give you the details on how I separate everything and you will also get a glimpse on how I organize my pantry as you continue to watch the video. Comment below and let me know your process of decluttering and organizing your pantry and how often do you do it. Don't forget to follow your girl on Instagram at all of Sharae Lynn at all of Sharae Lynn. A lot of times I'll post on there and let you know if I drop a new new. So go ahead and make sure you follow me. Okay, so I know everyone has that one drawer container that you keep all your fast food condiments in. I used to have a big drawer of them, but as you can see, I downsized and I limited myself to one small canister. It was getting out of control in my household, so we had to cut back. You don't realize how much of those things you can accumulate. So right now I'm putting all my pastas in the container if I have any extra, and I'm breaking it down so that it can fit properly in the container. Usually in these containers, I usually put like my baking stuff, my cocoa, my baking soda, uh, flour, sugar, and things like that. So right here, I am putting my seasonings in the extra containers that I have and I'm labeling them on the bottom because I did decide not to use the labels that I currently have for it. Any extra spices that I that doesn't fit in the container or I don't use, I put in my condiment basket. This is so useful. I put all my extra grocery bags in here and it's organized and it's in one spot. After decluttering my pantry, this is how much trash I accumulated. Can you believe it? With further ado, this is my organized and decluttered pantry. I'm going to let you know where I purchased everything. I'm going to start from right to left. So I have the two clear double stack bins I got from Walmart. This originally $10, I got it for five. I have my three canisters. You can purchase that at Walmart. But I got mine secondhand for a dollar a piece and I put my cereal in those. The gray and white large chevron-like basket is from Ross. That was $4.99. The two gray felt bins is from Target. I purchased those for $20, but a few months ago they had them on sale for $10. They also come in a cream color. I have my bread and can items in those. Now I purchased these jars from a few different places. The tall round glass jars were $2.49. I put my pastas in there and the short ones were $1.49. I put my baking stuff like fish fry, bread crumbs, tea, cocoa, and stuff like that in there. And both of these jars came from Big Lots. The medium round glass jars were a dollar from the Dollar Tree. I haven't yet filled those up yet. The large square glass jars were $3.99 and the small one was $2.99. Both came from Ross. I put my brown and white sugar, flour, grits, pancake, waffle mix in those. As you can see, I have all my spices in this area. The plastic rectangle holder was a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Clear acrylic Lazy Susan and the black Lazy Susan both were $5 at the Target Dollar Spot. The acrylic one can also be used for your makeup or paint essentials. The glass spice holder with the black top all came from Ikea for $2.99 for four, but it's originally $4.99. The glass spice holder with the stainless steel top was $1.50 at Daiso. As I mentioned before, this white and 
gray basket is a smaller version of the previous basket. This came from Ross and was $3.99. I keep my box foods in there. I purchased this other large gray and white basket from Ross for $4.99. I keep my condiments in there and I have another set of my clear acrylic stackable bins from Walmart. I keep a few of the kids breakfast foods and snacks in there. This bin next to this is the same price as the small one I mentioned and I keep the ramen noodles in there. Comment below if you keep those in your house. The three silicone bins came from Lowe's for $2.99 each. I keep my storage and extra trash bags in there. I keep my extra storage items sitting in this area for future use. This will come in handy when I need it. Tucked off below in the right corner is my grocery bag holder. I've been having this for years and can't remember where I purchased that from. Also, if you're not following your girl on Instagram, go ahead and do that at all of Shari Lynn at all of Shari Lynn so you can check me out and know what I'm doing in between time. I hope I inspired you to go ahead and tackle your pantry if that's been in the back of your mind. Go ahead and do it. It takes a little time, but once you get finished with it and you see the final look, I promise you, you're going to be giving yourself a pat on the back. So thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.